In this amateur video filmed by a migrant from Guinea on Tuesday, April 11th, men, women and children in Tunis flee the smoke from police tear gas. Police forced them from their sit-in outside of the office of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. The following day, we tracked down some of those chased away. Audia from Darfur in Sudan doesn't know where to go anymore. It's been weeks that we've had nothing to eat. We can't anymore. We live in the street, hungry. The Tunisian government says that refugees were moved after the UN High Commissioner complained that some were trying to enter the building. Authorities also accused migrants of vandalizing nearby cars. Nasra from Yemen had to evacuate the area with her six children. You think we want to stay here? We're asking everyone to be evacuated to another country. No one wants to stay here. In this camp in front of the International Organization for Migration, many have been waiting for help for months. In February, we met Mohammed, who was sleeping there with his brothers. He had been evicted after a racially charged speech by President Kais Saied sparked a wave of persecution of black African migrants. It's really hard, but we have to be brave. Today, the situation hasn't changed much. He's still in limbo. Tunisian Forum for Economic and Social Rights fears the latest unrest could spark more public backlash against migrants. It's not just the images of Tunisian citizens' cars being broken that were published by the Interior Ministry or by Tunisian media. OK, we stand with those people, but we aren't going to use those images and this rhetoric to adopt discriminatory and racist rhetoric against migrants and refugees. The UNHCR issued a statement condemning what it called violent protests of migrants entering its premises, but added that it understood their fears and frustrations.